the morning after your meeting with the president, the president called you on the phone. He did. Also the first time I've been called by a president, so that was new to me as well. I was told the president's on the line. I picked up the phone and he said, uh, hello, Mr. Director, this is Don Trump. And what was the conversation? Uh, we had a, a, a ranging conversation in which he first began to ask me questions about why Jim Comey had been allowed to fly home on the FBI airplane. And who Comey had, had been in California when he learned that he'd been fired. That's right. He flew home on a government plane. He did. It was a presidential order after 9-11 that the director of the FBI travels on a government plane because he needs to be within reach of secure communications and all that sort of equipment. So the director typically travels on an FBI plane and he had done so that day to California, which is where he was when he found out by watching the television that he'd been fired. So the president asked me who had made the decision to allow him to return on the FBI plane. And I said, well, I did, sir. I discussed it with our attorneys was, and was notified that there were no legal or contractual uh, obstacles to allowing that. There was an existing threat assessment that the director needed the protection of a security detail. And for those reasons, I decided to bring them all back on the plane that they had taken out there. His whole team? The whole team. The president was concerned about that? He was mad about it. He said that he did not want Jim Comey flying on the FBI plane and that he wanted me to look into the decision. Look into it? What's to look into? There wasn't anything to look into. I explained to him that I had made the decision and so I was puzzled by uh, his, his request that I look into it. I, of course, did not look into it. What else did the president say in this call? He asked if Jim Comey would be allowed back in the FBI building, if he, need, if he would come into the building to collect his personal effects. I explained that we were packing his stuff up for him and would take it out to his residence and that I did not expect that he would be back to the building. And then the president said that he did not want Comey in any FBI building. 